time coming out here. It's obviously good to see guys. And as usual, you have the younger guys make a lot of mistakes like normal. That's why we come in here instead of waiting for the first game of the year. Thought the defense was ahead of the offense a lot today, which is usually the case. We kind of held um, Silas and Curtis. You know, got a little bit there early and then kind of held them. Kind of held a lot of guys in general throughout the day in different periods, with some being live and some not being live. So um, I think we got some good work. We'll go watch the film and we'll figure it out. I know you said yesterday that running back was not an area of concern, but the concerns that you had before about Curtis getting dinged up and he gets dinged up, DJ had fumble problems and he fumbled. Um, do, do you feel a little bit more concerned after today? And are you glad you know that you have Silas Red as a as another option? Yeah, we're very glad to have Silas. You know, those, that's why we went to get him. You know, all those concerns. You know, what had happened in the past with DJ. Buck having never played, and so you saw him put on the ground too today. And, um, and Curtis having injury issues over the course of time. So, glad he's here. Is that the concern? Ball handling? Sure it is. Yeah. And come in here and turn the ball over like that, it's a, it's a big yeah. concern. The fastest way that you lose games, no matter how many preseason all in games you have, take care of the ball. How much of that is the defense? Uh, I did, today I thought it was really just the offense giving it to him. I didn't really think it was the defense making great plays. So going forward, how do you emphasize to those guys that they can't do that? Well, I mean, you see, you know, they come out when they do it, take a lap. As you've seen before, when you get into games, their playing time suffers. I think that's one you know, of the most important things to kids is playing time. And so that'll reflect that. How'd the quarterback I'm not sure. Um, I gotta go back and watch it. You know, all the stuff going on, and um, I, I don't know that I'm really ready for that. Maybe state down there. What was uh, your reaction to the USA today uh, revealing your vote? Mm, not a big deal. Um, you know, you guys asked me about it, about Rich Rod, and um, said I wouldn't post number one. Uh, I was saying that was because of our issues with numbers with other people. And did I vote as number one? Yeah, just like when they called me. Uh, I said I voted as number one before they even told me. Uh, you know, I don't know how you go in to these guys and everything that we do and say, well, hey, you know, thanks for coming back for your senior year and for all these guys. But hey, by the way, my opinion is I have these other teams ahead of you. So it is what it is. But why would they know what your vote was? Why would they know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really care. Will you continue to vote the poll? Uh, they probably yeah. won't let Are me. You asking, who are you asking why would they know? The players know. Why would the players oh. know? Because right, nothing stays private. You saw this? This didn't say private. They say it does, it doesn't. So they, they, they haven't it? told you that you can't vote anymore or you have an option? They've not told me that yet, nor have they sent me a letter, nor have they called me to ask what did you say and why did you say it. So um, Grant hasn't, I've had no communication with Grant. Would you like to keep voting in it though? I don't know. Coaches vote, but yet we don't see game. The coaches I know, the good ones, they don't watch other games. They're trying to worry about their own team watching film, but yeah, we vote on who's the best, so you guys are the experts on that. Do you do your ballot or someone else do it? I did it with the group, group of people helping me. Um, Josh Shaw got a little playing time at corner mm -hmm. today. Is that something you might look at if the numbers are thin there and with the good yeah, depth you have at safety? I hope not. You know, I hope that we don't go to that point. Nothing against Josh. You know, we want Josh to play safety in special teams. And I thought Josh, you know, showed up today. He showed up yesterday in some drills as well. Uh, so another exciting guy to have, you know, with some experience. Could Soma play tailback or is that just an emergency kind of deal? No, I think he can. You know, Soma, Soma ran faster than most of our tailbacks. Know it a lot heavier, so um, I think there's definitely uh, a point, some package or something um, where he would be a value, uh, especially you know if some other guys are banged up. Does he have a skill set and instincts from having done it in high school to do it? He does. He's very natural. He actually, we thought last spring watching him, he's actually better when he has the ball in his hands than when he doesn't. Now he's gotten a lot better at the blocking and stuff now, but um, you know, for a guy to have four years of eligibility left, you know, it's pretty exciting. Any reaction to the uh, LSU news? You can move. You can move us up a spot. You pull. <laughs> you can't because you already. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can, you, can you imagine a scenario like that? Before I don't. I don't know the details. Of the room, so I, I can't really speak on that. Well, one of your best play having to remove one of your best players as an upperclassman. Yeah, 
I, I don't know. I mean, every situation is different. You know, uh, we lost two of them in the draft, so you know it happens. What did you see from the freshman corners? I'm sure LSU is defensively fine, by the way. <laughs> but it never gets to the corner anyway. <laughs> what have you seen from the freshman corners that kind of got thrown in there? Yeah, I think they're very physical. Um, I think they've really, even when they're not supposed to be tackling, they're throwing themselves in there. And so we're excited about both of them. And, uh, and they're long, too. You know, they're real short at corner, have been for a couple of years. And so if those guys can come and play for us with that length, it'd be great. Did any of the defensive linemen flash today? It seemed like Christian Hayward was in the backfield an awful lot. Yeah, I thought Christian and Leonard both did, and, uh, which is great to see. The number one concern is the guys are defensive line. Guys have not played very much there um, outside of outside of the two main guys, so we got to figure out who's going to play where at some point, and, you know, probably by the end of next week, you know, because there, there are some tweener guys, you know, like Jr. You know, they play inside now, and so we'll go back and look at this film and figure it out. What did you think of the offensive line that Andre out there? Oh, very average. Um, and we held Collard out of the first part. You know, so there's some guys in there that hadn't played before. And I just thought it was a lot of shit. How much end and how much tackle did JR play last <laughs> year when he was in the Yeah, JR, JR played end early in camp. And by the time we got going in the season, he played more tackle. Okay. The time in between Woody and Matt, how concerned are you about that? I'm not. Still early. You know, if, that, if this is the case in two weeks, I'd be concerned. But you, you can't expect it to be great when, when you know, one of them is not practicing very much. Do, do you have any idea when you're going to find out the status of Wiley and Simmons? I hope soon. You know, I, I don't, I don't control when teachers post the grades. So um, hopefully soon. But those guys are still with the program at this point. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. What about Darren? Uh, he's not. He's not been cleared yet. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. you.